Hello everyone, I'm John Martinez, and we're here today to talk about a really important topic in sound recording, polar patterns. What exactly is a polar pattern? Well, it looks a bit like this, and it shows the sensitivity of a microphone at different angles from an overhead perspective. Polar patterns can be broken up into two main categories, directional and omnidirectional. Omnidirectional mics have a polar pattern that looks a bit like this, and pick up sound equally from all directions, like this lav mic. Listen how you can hear me equally well from all directions as I walk around this mic. Microphone, as I walk around, the volume shouldn't change. I should be the same as I walk around. This has an omnidirectional polar pattern. Since lavs are so small and hidden in all sorts of weird places, they're almost always omnidirectional. Shotgun mics, on the other hand, are typically directional. After all, they're usually held quite a bit farther away from the actor than a lav would be so they need to be able to reject as much sound as possible from around the actor to isolate them. Here's what that sounds like on a Rode NTG3, a super cardioid mic. We'll get to what that means in a second. Walking around the microphone, and I walk around and get quiet. Yeah, walking around the microphone, this is what you call the polar pattern. As you can hear when I walk away from the front of the mic, the sound drops off really quickly. So that means that if your talent's gonna be walking around, you either need to have a boom operator who can follow them with the boom mic, or they need to be wearing a lav, so that way the mic is always as close as it can possibly be to them. So what's with this super cardioid thing? No, it's not my superhero alter ego. Well, directional mics can be split into two categories, unidirectional and bidirectional, which are basically what they sound like. Unidirectional mics can be split even further into categories which describe just how unidirectional they are. First, you have cardioid mics, like the Rode Video Micro. Then you have subcardioid, supercardioid, like the NDG, and even hypercardioid. Yeah, they got really creative with those names. But they all have different degrees of isolation and are used for different purposes. Except for the subcardioid mic that nobody uses that one. Let's listen to the NTG3 again. Walking around the microphone and walk around and get quiet. Yeah, walking around the microphone. This is what you call the polar pattern. And now the video micro. Walking around the microphone. As I'm here, it should be quiet. I'm getting loud again. This is a cardioid microphone. Walking around the microphone. Hear how the cardioid pickup pattern allows a lot more background noise into the recording, but it also allows me to get further off axis before it starts really cutting me out. Directional mics are really good at isolating the things that they're pointed at, but that means everything they're pointed at. So try to keep the mic pointed at your talent without also pointing it at any unwanted sounds. Adjust the mic position and direction until you find the angle that best rejects everything except your talent. Well, these are the basics of microphone pickup patterns, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you have any questions about this or what topics you'd like me to cover next, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm John Martinez, and this has been Learn Together Filmmaking. <laughs>